Now I would like to talk about um, how phenomena of the time lag or temporal delay on uh, orchestral response to conductor's action, how that affects um, another phenomena which uh, immediately corresponds with um, <clears throat> time lag or temporal delay, uh, phenomena, such phenomena as um, contour of sound. Um, if we look at the uh, performance uh, of variety of the uh, natures of the orchestral instruments, um, and if we make a simple experiment to try to find out how orchestral instruments um, respond, of course musicians playing orchestral instruments uh, respond to conductor's action or conductor's uh, single upbeat, um, we will find that um, Besides other factors such as psychological state, emotional state, physical state of the musician, the nature of the instrument itself uh, plays a significant role in response. If um, we break down orchestral instruments uh, and we'll analyze um, what is an order in uh, orchestral musical instruments, orchestral instruments response to conductor's action. We will find <clears throat> that there are some instruments where, which are responding faster than others. And uh, let's see if we can find out uh, who is the uh, fastest instrument um, among orchestral instruments and which instrument is the slowest. So if we look at the uh, simple strike conventional um, downward upward uh, vertically applied strike um, in a moderate tempo something like this so and uh, we'll see uh, we'll ask musicians to catch the very bottom point of the strike uh, without anticipating that uh, so and that's very important uh, moment so that musician will not anticipate the breaking point of the motion, so the lowest point of the motion. So we will we will try to find out how instrument responds to that. So we will find that um, among those instruments who respond in the fastest uh, on conductor's action, more likely will be timpani and other percussion instruments. Uh, more likely it will be piano. And possibly harp. Then the next layer of the instruments obviously will be strings. But even among strings we can notice that violins, uh, the highest strings instruments, uh, as a hi uh, highest in range, in, in range of sound, um, uh, string instrument respond differently than double bass. Uh, so we will not um, <coughs> put it in detail, but uh, we'll just keep in mind that there is a difference even within the string section. Um, then we can put woodwinds. Next, um, well, obviously, because it takes time for musicians to take a breath and uh, to uh, make sure that um, ambush are set in a proper way to make a proper ataka and so on. So, and of course, depends on the nature of the instrument. Even within the woodwind uh, section, the response could be different. So, it could be uh, faster for piccolo and uh, a fraction slower than that for contrabassoon. Um, so then next, uh, we can put brass, the next 
in our table. Browse section. And again, here we also um, will notice that um, trumpet more likely will respond faster than tuba. Um, <clears throat> and then finally, we can put um, the uh, the instrument which uh, occasionally use an orchestral score, um, even though it's not used that often, but it's still there, and it's a pipe organ. What about pipe organ that it has a natural, well, if it's, if it's pipe organ and not, not electric organ, because electric organ, of course, uh, will respond um, instantly, but pipe organ has a natural time gap, uh, which is constant. Uh, but it's always there, so an, any organist who is performing with the orchestra should, of course, consider to adjust that. Um, and uh, the last one we can put, which also use sometimes, along with the orchestra, and that's the core. And um, choir has a, uh, um, might have a significant uh, time delay, um, temporal delay. Uh, well, first of all, because usually it stays behind the orchestra, so the distance is the factor. Um, in fact, the distance could be a factor for brass too, well, less for woodwinds, but for brass. Besides that, it takes them. Um, more time to produce sound than for strings and beyond this factor the distance is factor two. So all of those um, different entrances of the instrument we have to put together and instead of having uh, them coming like one after another we have to find a way that um, all of those instruments will, or rather musicians, will have some time, and we will, conductor will give them some time, so that they will concept um, a time of the entrance uh, simultaneously, at the same time, and enter as one, so which is of course a very challenging thing to do.